Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com. Now, in the last few weeks, I've been working very hard creating this new series called Edge Control, which is going to be available at the end of the week in the Control Paint store. And in working on it, I've just come to remember how nice it is to paint flat. Well, in this demo I'm painting right now, I started with a sketch and then I did some rough block in, but then at that point, very early in the process, I flattened it down. I'm working only on one or two layers at a time, and I'm not deriving control through the layer stack. I'm painting much more like a traditional painter would using thick, opaque paint. Because creativity is a funny thing, and I can't begin to explain how it works, but I know that when I have to break my concentration for any reason, my painting is in danger. It's when I get into that flow state where I'm just doing one move after another, sort of intuitively, that really good things happen. It's when I feel like I have tunnel vision and I forget time's passing and I just work. Well, I think there's a pretty direct relationship between the way you interact with Photoshop and your opportunity to fall into a flow state like this. If you're constantly fumbling with menus and trying to remember what a certain command is called, you're not going to get there. But when you're working flat like this, it's a different story. It's much more smooth and direct. You're just thinking about fewer things and focusing on the creative act. And two nice things happen when we paint this way. First thing, there's a history that builds up. And I'm not talking about history in the Photoshop sense. I'm talking about brush marks that overlay one another and mistakes that happen. There's just sort of a richness that develops. Because when you have lots of layers, you have the ability to be very perfect and very careful. And if you make any mistakes, you can just throw them away. But when you're working in this way with very flat canvas, you end up sort of having a record of those mistakes. But over time, they build up and add a nice natural quality to the painting. You can also see that the line art is becoming worked right into the painting in a much more natural way. Because we know it's really easy to use Photoshop to keep that line art separate from the paint until at the very end, or potentially to keep them separated forever, as if you're doing a comic book. And that's fine, but this has a certain sort of feeling when your lines become edges and then sometimes fade away completely because they are underneath the paint, not on top of it. It's a nice way to get lost edges and careful nuance. And maybe the most important thing that happens is I've stopped planning. It's no longer a puzzle, it's just sort of an intuitive sort of painting where I'm more likely to fall into that flow state where I'm working intuitively in almost a stream of consciousness method because I'm not thinking about menus. I'm not thinking about layers and buttons. Especially when I use keyboard shortcuts, working in this way is a much more direct connection between me and the canvas. Now, at the end of this week, I'm launching a new series in the store, which is called Edge Control, and it really is about finding this balance between loose, direct painting like I'm doing here and the fine control that Photoshop offers. Until then, though, I really encourage you to just spend some time working flatter than you normally do. Maybe you limit yourself to doing a study or possibly a painting from direct observation. But whatever subject you choose, the important part is to work loose. It's possible that you normally use lots and lots of layers for very careful control. And at least for this week, let's just forget about that. Let's not use the fancy tools that Photoshop offers with layers and modes, and let's just paint. It might be very different from the way you normally work. I know it's different from the way I normally work, but it serves as a really great reminder of just how simple digital painting can be. So when I do studies and practice this week, I am going to do them all as flat as possible, and I encourage you to join along with me. You never know, you might have some fun. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.